Gimming is not a new concept in video games, but Space Station 14 is the first video game that I personally have played where gimming is a mechanic that is more or less required to know and understand. In order to gib someone in Space Station 14, it is very, very simple. If you do 400 blunt damage and only specifically blunt damage, like somebody can have 4 million slash damage or 4 million any other damage and they will not gib. But they will gib the second they take 400 blunt damage. So for example, if somebody takes the 400 blunt damage instantly in one hit, they don't go into a critical state, they turn into just all their body parts and all their stuff they were wearing will just turn into items on the floor. This video is also going to cover uh, round removal and what that means. This does not remove somebody from the round. Even when you're in this 10 million parts, as long as your brain still exists, you are still able to be revived. Not in your normal flesh body, no, you could be revived as a cyborg. And the way you are revived as a cyborg is actually pretty simple. Science can make these things called man-machine interfaces, and all they do is they put your brain in it, and that allows you to talk. And if they put you in a cyborg body, you will return as a cyborg. You'll be stricken, you'll be stuck to your law set, but either way, you will continue on as that person with all of your memories if you are turned into a man-machine interface, or put into a man-machine interface. Now let's discuss other forms of gibbing and other forms of round removal. Another very common form of full-on round removal is the meat spike. The meat spike is... I mean, it's just a meat spike. You can craft it for 15 steel, and there's always one found in every single freezer. It's typically meant for butchering animals for food, but if you drag a critically injured or dead person onto a meat spike, there's a fairly lengthy uh, do-after bar that appears above your head, or progress bar, whatever you want to call it. But the second that progress bar finishes, this person will be permanently removed from the round. You can't salvage their brain, there is nothing else you can do to them. So this person is gone from the round entirely. And if you want to be really, really sadistic, if you take pieces from them, like so, you can get five pieces of meat, and it will literally have their name on it. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, the mice might even eat your corpse. That's how, uh, dark this game gets sometimes. Rotting bodies are essentially removed from the round. You could still technically clone someone who is rotting, but cloning is very hard to acquire and few and far between. Specifically, what rotting does is it makes it so you can't be revived with a defib. So the most common way of reviving dead people is uh, basically impossible at this point. Um, you could still be gibbed on purpose to have your brain salvaged and put in a cyborg, but it is also worth mentioning that eventually, if you rot for long enough, you will just gib automatically, which will still leave your brain on the floor, but it makes it a little less likely you'll get revived, I guess, if you just gib. I mean, if you rotted to the point that you gibbed, you weren't getting found anyway. Uh, so something to keep in mind, that rotting may permanently move you from the round. You can still have your brain salvaged. And I guess while I'm here, as I said, it takes 400 blunt damage to gib a body. So that also includes even if they're like critical into dead or already dead. So for example, the Suspicious Toolbox does 20 blunt damage per hit. So it is one of the best weapons in the entire game for gibbing people. Um, obviously, I have to exercise caution. It's not fun to get round removed, uh, constantly at least. Or it's not fun to get round removed if you're just some random person that got slaughtered in the hall. Uh, round removing your targets, always fine. It's your objectives. Uh, revolutionary should absolutely give heads because that's the game mode you're meant to give the heads but as like a revolutionary you don't really gain anything at all for giving some random dude maybe give security because they're always going to be against you but like giving potential converts doesn't really make sense you're giving up you're actively making it so there's going to be less potential people to join the revolution. Uh, but anyways, that's a little off topic of what you should or shouldn't do in this game. I mean, it is a sandbox game, but it is worth considering that getting removed from the round permanently is not always that entertaining, especially if you weren't a target. Anyways, another thing you could do that's really messed up is you could actually eat people's brains. And uh, yeah, so if you do that, uh, you will fully round remove that person. Uh, I don't really know how intended it is that you, like a human could just eat another person's brain. Uh, I'm pretty sure that gives you some major problems in reality, as a, especially for a human eating a human brain. But anyways, again, 
little off topic here. If you e-mag a recycler and push somebody into it or just walk into it, it will instantaneously give you, but it will save the brain. Another slightly less apparent way to be round removed is by taking over 200 toxin damage. And the reason that round removes you is because there is no way to heal this with normal medicine. Dead bodies do not metabolize reagents, and there's no topical medicines in the game that heal for any form of toxin. So if you're poisoned to death through something very deadly like amatoxin, uh, you are essentially unrevivable. You would have to be cloned or, again, be gibbed and put into a man-machine interface, interface at this point. If you're not get following along at this point in the video, if you die in one of these ways, uh, you're basically praying to God that science is able to make a cyborg. Another classic way of getting permanently removed from the round is getting tossed into deep space. If you don't have something like a GPS locator, uh, you are practically doomed, especially if you're anywhere more than like, I'd say even like 50 tiles away from the station. You can always try to throw items in the opposite direction of you from the station, if you even remember where that is, to try to make it back. But if, especially if you're not wearing a spacesuit, you're going to die before you really get any proper grounds on this. Uh, getting sucked out in the deep space or thrown around is not something that's all that common. Like, salvagers sometimes get hit by their own ships and get flung into space and might get lost permanently because of that. I've also, unfortunately, seen several Nukies now uh, completely fail to find their way to the station and just get lost in space forever. Also, if you're on a ship that FTLs and you're on the outside, you'll get launched at Mach Million and you'll also be pretty much effectively permanently removed from the round. If you are to ever die on a salvage wreck or on a salvage expedition on a planet, is the moment the salvage wreck or the expedition ends and you're still dead on that planet or wreck, you will disappear forever. And lastly, I'll cover bombs. Uh, these are, I'm not going to explain it too much because it still falls under the blunt category, but certain bombs do a lot more blunt damage than others. An entire bag of C4 on a healthy person will not do enough blunt damage to give them. It'll kill you, but it will not give you. As you can see, it's still a 100 blunt damage away from even being gibbed, so if you dropped an entire C4 bag on a critical person with no explosive resistance, you'd gib them, but that's uh, kind of ridiculous. However, something like a mini bomb will gib a full health person that does not have explosive resistance. If it's directly on top of them, that is. What the hell? So, that's really it. Uh... There's not that many unique ways to get removed from the game, but it's, it's something that just happens. While playing Space Station, you just have to accept, especially on the lower roleplay servers and medium roleplay servers, uh, where there's more chaos in general, um, you just have to expect that you're going to die. Death is a very common thing in Space Station 14. Not being able to finish out an entire round is part of the experience. Space Station 14 is a sandbox roleplay game. And that sandbox is a chaotic sandbox. So, like I said, dying is very common. It's part of the experience. It's part of the story. Your death makes for great stories for other people most of the time. And sometimes your death is literally required by the objectives of the game. So, it's something you have to get used to. And knowing how you can get round removed and how to round remove people could be very useful. Thank you for watching.